Any idea what this is? Back to that in a minute. So I was sitting here watching Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant for 2022 out of Iowa State, start a quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers against the GOAT, Tom Brady. And we all know the story about Tom Brady and how he was drafted in the sixth round. Can you imagine if Mr. Irrelevant goes on to win several Super Bowls and he got his first start against Tom Brady? But I digress. For those of you that don't know, I've been coaching for 31 years. 24th at the college level, and this is my seventh year at a low-income first-generation high school. I coached boys basketball for 15 years, and this is my 16th year on the women and girls side. Anyways, back to this. This year's team has endured a lot. I have five seniors. They were freshmen when we won our first league championship in 10 years, three years ago before the pandemic, where we won a school record 14 games and went to the second round of the CIF playoffs. Then the next year, there was no season due to COVID. Then last year, they only had 14 games. So I was determined this year to not only get them a really strong schedule, but to give them everything I have, like I have every year, to do my best to put them in a position to succeed and go for another league championship. Now, as a sidebar, these girls have no buses to get home every day. They have no buses to bring them to school. Some of them have to ride the trolley for three hours and 30 minutes every single day and endure everything that comes along with riding public transportation. Thoughtful scheduling is a big part of coaching. I learned that in graduate school in 1992. So far this year, we have had a Division II team, a Division III team, which are three and two levels higher than us as we are a Division V team. So after our game yesterday, the coach comes up to me and says, you guys are doing really well. You're ranked number one in San Diego in Division 5. I said, we are? I don't usually look at the rankings until January. And it took me a minute to take that in. And at the time of that ranking, we were 3-1 and one and had played a very difficult schedule, arguably the toughest schedule in Division 5 in San Diego, hence the ranking. You have to understand, I'm working with basketball players that pretty much, for the most part, can't shoot, dribble, pass, and don't understand the rules of the game. So I coach much differently here than I did when I was coaching in college. I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the way. And usually I'm not caught up in numbers. But knowing what these kids have been through and what they go through every day, not only at home, but getting to and from school, I'm so happy for these kids. But this is the first time in school history that we've ever been ranked number one at any point in the season. Stay tuned to see what happens. Thanks for the love and support.